So this is our Sierpinski triangle program. This is written in SNAP, which is a visual programming language. This is what we use to teach our uh, high school intro computer class, computer science class. So, okay. A Sierpinski triangle is made of by picking a point somewhere on this stage, we call it, and then picking a random vertice. We have three vertices in this triangle. Those are defined here negative 240, negative 180, that's this point, 0, 180, that's this point, 240, negative 180, that's this point. So we pick a random vertice, that's done here, uh, and then we pick, um, we, well, we figure out our x and y component of that, and then we find the delta between where we are right now and this vertice, half the x and half the y, and then we go to that point, which in this case would be right here, and then we draw a dot, and then we do the same thing. We pick another random vertice. That might be this one again. Let's say it's this one, though. Then we pick, so we would figure out the distance between these two, uh, divide that in two, and jump there, then draw a dot. So I've structured it so that the first five times we do that, we're going to wait one second each time. So you can kind of get a visual sense for how the moving logic works. Uh, and then after that, it's going to go really quickly to, to build up the rest of that triangle. So I've made this, hopefully this code is simple enough that you can change it yourself. If you want to, the key things to change are, you can get rid of this block right here, you can change that to zero seconds so that you don't even get that initial ramp up. Um, and you can change the these two coordinates, and this is where you start your, uh, your, your algorithm. So when we run it, we're gonna hold down shift before we click this, and that's gonna turn it into this lightning bolt, and that's gonna put it in turbo mode, so that makes it go quickly. So then you just press space to start it. So I'm going to do that now. So we can see it's picking some random vertices, jumping there, and now it's going to go crazy and fill in the rest of the, the Sierpinski triangle. Okay, let's stop. Okay, so we started right here at zero, zero. What if we, what if we pick uh, this point roughly instead, which is the halfway point at this triangle? So that's still zero on the x-axis, now negative 90 on the y-axis. Okay, press space again. Maybe start there. So, aside from like it looks like one outlier, maybe two outlier dots, it basically uh, collapses to form the um, the normal triangle as expected. So now, what if we pick a point that's outside of the triangle altogether? So how about this point up here? That would be negative 240. Um, and 180. So I'm going to run it again, spacebar, start up there, jump down there. Oh, in this case, wow, we got four along this towards the same vertex. Um, but again, it basically converges to form the same triangle. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It seems that whenever you, no matter what initial point you have, it still converges to form the same triangle. Thanks for watching.